I've always wanted to say this. Welcome to my crib. Let's go check it out. All right, so from the title, you can see that I live in a small but spacious studio apartment and I'm so very grateful to have found this space in LA because I know how expensive it is and how expensive it can get. I love, love, love my space. I moved in here about five years ago and I thought I would just share with you what I've done to create a cozy space, what it looks like, and what you could possibly get when you move to LA and are looking for a studio apartment. Should we take them through the living room and the bedroom, AKA the same room together, Stormy? Let's do it. All right, so here is the bedroom area. As you can see, we have the bed. This was my very first purchase when I moved right out of college to LA and never looked back. I'm very glad I have a nice mattress. I eventually got the headboard. The headboard is from Josh and Maine, which I love their stuff. I will link it down in the description box. They always have like really great deals. My dad got that for me, I think for, it was a birthday present. My dad and I are kind of like, a team of interior designers together because I know what I like when I see it. It's just hard for me to kind of execute it into what I like stylistically because I love so many different styles. And my dad is really good at kind of combining those together to make it work. So I would send him a bunch of different things. He would be like, okay, you need to order this, aka this above my bed. I love the French country style. I love very pottery barn, coastal styles for my home. And I love neutrals. Neutrals just make me really happy. And I firmly believe that certain colors can evoke emotion for you so if you don't like red don't put red in your home enjoy the red when you go to someone else's space I love all colors I love all styles all kinds of different home decor but there are some things that are left to go and experience and not have you living in it every single day I really want to like the big chunky fluffy pillows that is very French country I just happen to have these pillowcases. I didn't really care to go for just like this blue purple. I used what I had. So I had these pillowcases and then I had this blanket from my childhood home. My mom was like, you should bring this with you just in case it gets super cold, which surprisingly LA does get pretty cold. So you would like to have like at least one kind of thick throw blanket. Brian hates this. He wishes it was never on the bed, but I like it for decor purposes. And then in the winter time it does you know, get a little chilly. Then I got this from my bridal shower, or was it my wedding? My friend got this for me, and this again is very that French country kind of linen that flows off of your bed. And as you can see, Stormy has her little setup over here, which Ryan kind of created. Honestly, the toys is not the aesthetic. It's not the vibe. I guess this is what happens when you have children and dogs, because my dog isn't a child, but we treat her like a child. So toys are gonna be everywhere. It's not gonna technically be aesthetically pleasing, but it is what it is. What I do want to buy in order to kind of hide those toys is a big French basket. I think they're so beautiful, or they're Moroccan baskets. She has the cutest little dog bed that she absolutely loves. Ryan feels very proud of himself for finding this dog bed because she loves it to the point where she doesn't really sleep with those anymore, which kind of sucks, but she loves her little area. She stole my very expensive blanket, but that's okay. I will let her enjoy that because I ordered a kid size and I thought I was ordering a regular size, but I ordered a baby blanket. So it is now Stormy's baby blanket. Now I'm gonna show you our side tables and give you like a closer up view of the details of the decor over there. Here's the piece that my dad made me purchase, which I'm very grateful because I think this will go really well in any home that I get, whether it's in the living room, the dining room, it just is very versatile and can work wherever in my next place. Then my headboard, I really love a tufted headboard. It's just something I've always loved and have been drawn to. I found these through a interior designer blogger lady that I follow. I wish I could remember her Instagram, but I can't. But she had these in her home and I really loved the nice like crystal accents that this has. I am a little bit into that glam look, so the crystal added that nice little touch. I really love that the table, which I didn't know was unfinished wood, mistake on my end so it definitely gets a lot of stains just a heads up check your furniture for unfinished or finished wood but i really love this because this also had this pattern that i really am drawn to as well it used to be what my carpet looked like but then i got rid of the carpet and then it has these crystal accents as well to kind of match 
the lamp over here. So funny story, I didn't really tell Ryan that we were redoing my apartment, which I do have a video of if you wanted to see what it looked like before. I did like a whole studio apartment makeover. This kind of like renovation all before a wedding, like what a nutcase, that's me. So I did tell him like what I was doing, what I was picking out. I kind of just like, all right, I'm gonna do what I want. Well, he was like, Kaylee, this, this is getting a little bit girly. Like, could we at least discuss the items that we're gonna get? And I go, Ryan, what do you mean? Like, what what's very girly? I feel like everything's pretty, you know, neutral. And he goes, just take a second to guess. I want you to guess what over here you think he would think is very girly because I just couldn't stop laughing when he told me this. He said, well, the crystal knobs <laughs> on the stand. It's getting a little girly for me. I thought he would have said the frilly pillows, whatever. Point is, if you have a significant other, discuss your decor taste with them. My husband is super chill about things. Like he actually genuinely doesn't care about a lot of things that I personally care about. He's just like, oh, okay, whatever, we'll do it, which is nice. Sometimes it can be a little frustrating, but he was like, let's start discussing some things just cause this is my home as well. And I would like it to feel my style also, which I totally respect. So that was funny, everything else he loved. He was just like a little bit confused about the crystal knobs, so that's okay. So then we have this piece over here, which I really, really wanted because I do need more shelf space. I really needed something where I could put my keys or, you know, more home decor if I wanted. It kind of just sits there. I kind of like it that it doesn't have a bunch of clutter on it. I kind of like it clean, but sometimes I think, oh, maybe I should put something right here, whether it be a mirror or some photos, but I really like this. I actually got it off of Home Depot and I love the white washed wood. I'm very, very drawn to wood, as you can tell, and just the detailings of it. Again, very French country. Correct me if I'm wrong, dad, but I feel like this is pretty French country vibes to me. Let's discuss the elephant in the room, aka the section of my apartment I cannot stand. And it's my fault because we rushed to get this dresser because Ryan moved in and he needed a place to put his clothes. It is great for that because it has this many little shelves to put things in or drawers, but it just feels heavy, it feels dark and deep, and like I, as you can see, I like a lot of light and bright in my apartment, and this section just doesn't do it for me. I found this at a flea market. I felt like it went with a lot of my other favorite items in my house, very, you know, textured and design wise it was really nice i was gonna put a mirror in it never got around to it it's not the right space for it but i i like it enough that i know eventually i will i'll use it and then this just kind of becomes a catch-all in my house and all of our stuff right you know the mail the extra like items that we want to put somewhere it all just lands right here so it doesn't bring me joy at all and then down here is where we put all of our shoes our work bag, so this section just feels very stuffy to me. So I had to try to keep it as organized as possible. It is what it is. So now for the living room, even though the bed is literally right there, I still wanted to make sure that everything flowed together, that it kind of felt a little bit separate, but still cohesive. I just absolutely love the idea of huga, and huga is a Danish word that is basically just a lifestyle that they live in the Danish culture. And I personally didn't know about that until recently when I got introduced to that word. And basically it's all about warmth, and coziness, which can be created through your home decor, candles, cozy blankets. It just really resonated with me and I just feel like that is just who I am to the core. So for people who don't want to use the word huga, just refer to your home as a cozy space. And what's cozy to me may not be cozy to you and I completely respect that. I feel like your home decor style is ever evolving, you know? Some things you may have liked five years ago, you may not like now, but I try to find things that consistently bring me joy into my home. I've been wanting to film this because I realized that I didn't film a whole entire tour when I filmed the makeover, but I thought, okay, well, I'll just wait until everything is perfect. Well, nothing in your house is ever going to be perfect if you love interior design like me and creating just a, not even if you're like an interior design junkie, if you just like having a nice 
special home that makes your heart happy, then you're always gonna wanna be changing things around, looking at it in a different perspective, moving pieces of furniture just to see what it would look like and how it would make you feel. I decided like, okay, I'm finally just gonna do it. There are spaces in my home that aren't complete yet that I want to add maybe photos to. For example, right on this wall over here, I thought I would get maybe two photos there, not quite sure. And then this was a whole thing that we have yet to figure out the wall over here. So over here, this mirror was not supposed to just be sitting on the table and up against these photos. Originally, this was going to be hung. I was gonna get rid of these and then add some botanical prints around them. I haven't found botanical prints that I, I'm in love with and I don't wanna pay a pretty penny if I don't really, really love them. So I just kind of like sat that there for the longest time and I haven't really touched it until the holidays came around and then I thought, I actually don't mind it. It's kind of a nice layering effect. And until I figure out exactly what I wanna do with the wall, then it is what it is and it's gonna sit there. Over here, a little bit over in the corner, this has been a trickier space to work with because of the AC unit, but you gotta have an AC unit, especially in LA. And so this is kind of an eyesore. There's not really much you can do to get rid of it that I'm aware of. If you know, let me know. But then we have this like blank section and I just feel like it needs something. I don't know what it needs, but I do love that I added a chair here. Originally, I didn't have a chair when I first moved in. I just had my couch and my bed and that was it and a little TV stand with my TV. It was bare bones, baby bare bone, but I made it work and it's really come together over these five years and it makes me really proud and happy. So we have this tufted chair. Like I said earlier, I love tufted. Not sure how the lighting looks right now, but let's go with it. Then I have this pillow that has a little bit of that glam vibe. I got my first year that I lived here with the sequins and the beads. I just think it's really pretty and adds like a nice little sparkly moment. And then over here we have another side table that can hold a photo, candles, glasses if I have people over and then there's some extra storage space there. Oh, I want to do a video on how to maximize the storage in your studio apartment. So let me know if you're interested in that video. I most definitely am probably gonna make it anyways, but just let me know if that's something that you guys are interested in because I have found so many different ways to make sure that I can store the things that I want and still buy the things that I want and not feel like I have no storage. Here's just another little view from my closet area on what the living room looks like. All right, now let me take you into the little hallway here, which is where my closet is. As you can see, TV desk stand. Oh, I didn't show you this actually. Here's my TV. And then down here, I have a fireplace, which is really nice. I don't have the remote, but it's an electric fireplace. Not real, but your girl needed a fireplace and I made it happen. Back to the hallway. So the bed is here. And then this is where I store my vacuum. I don't love the look of this, but I need to put my hat somewhere. So I put my hats up here. And then this is kind of like my vanity area where I have all of my makeup. What am I thinking? The light is not on. Um, so I just have my makeup bags, my makeup case, some more places to have storage. And then this is my closet where I store most of my clothes. And then Ryan stores some of his golf stuff in here. But I mean, it's not that deep, but it's pretty dang deep for a studio apartment. And then up above here is extra storage space, which I'm very grateful for because this is where I store most of my holiday decor. As you guys know, I'm obsessed, can't help it. I love the holiday season and I need my decor and I will make it work. And then over here is some more storage which is really nice. Again, this is a spacious studio, so I, I really am lucky because I know not all studio apartments are like this. We keep our towels down here, beach towels, extra makeup brushes, and then here are just some extra linens, Ryan shoes, and then my classic candle collection up there. If you haven't watched that video, check it out because I'm a little candle obsessed and I'm working on it. Okay, so then we go into the bathroom, which I stuck my little studio light in there because it can just get very crowded. We don't know how to break this down, so it just kind of 
goes wherever we don't want it to be. And I will show you the bathroom now. So here's the bathroom. We still are stocked up on toilet paper because we're still afraid that toilet paper is going to go out, but that's okay. So it looks a little cluttered there. It doesn't typically look like that, but I'm not going to move my toilet paper so that it looks nice and clean. It is what it is. We have the toilet. We have my perfumes right here, my oil diffuser. And then I have these photos up here. One of the photo frames broke, but I thought it was really cute to have different photos of, you know, actresses. I'm not an actress, that's me, but I'm not trying to be like annoying like actresses, but this, I couldn't find another photo that I liked and I had done this little photo shoot, so I thought I would just put it up there. But here's Audrey Hepburn brushing her teeth and then Sophia Loren in her pink towel. I love this photo. And then we have Marilyn Monroe, of course, in her little bubble bath. Okay, so then over here is our shower and our bath, which I don't know what our landlord was thinking, but he painted it. The whole entire thing is painted, so there's stuff chipping off left and right, and then there's like weird patches of drywall that are peeling off, so it's not that glamorous, but it is what it is, and I'm not gonna complain. Then we have our little sink right here, which is nice because it has pretty spacious storage underneath. I try to organize this as best as possible, and every time it just gets messy, so it's an organized mess. And then over here, if you are wondering what this nice little accessory is, it's because our doorknob handle somehow broke two days ago, and I don't know how to fix it. Ryan's trying to figure it out, but real life people. All right, and then above here is where I keep all of my beauty supplies. All right, so that's it for the bathroom. And then let me take you over. I can't open the door with the handle, so hold on. Let me take you over into my kitchen. Ignore the tripod. I'm trying to be professional over here and it just looks messy in the video. So over here is our spacious kitchen, which let me tell you, this sold me, even though this was the first place I saw and I didn't really have many options. When I saw this kitchen, I begged and pleaded to have this apartment. As a lot of you guys know, cooking and baking is just one of my passions in life. It makes me happy. It feels like therapy when I'm in the kitchen, making good food for myself and for my family and friends. So I was really hoping that my first apartment would have at least somewhat of a nice kitchen. And to be honest, I love this kitchen for me. I would love an island, don't get me wrong. I would love to have more storage space. I'd love a pantry. I don't have that and that's okay because what I do have still makes me feel really, really blessed. And let me show you. Let me stop talking about it and let me show you. In a typical studio apartment, your kitchen would be just like a refrigerator up against this little section. From what I've heard, it's all in one room. There is no spacious extra room for you to have a full size kitchen. So this is where I feel very blessed because this does make it feel like I am in a separate room. If I feel like I need to be, I can come in here and kind of separate myself from Ryan. So over here we have this little kitchen area, which is really nice. It's a cozy little kitchen nook, which I really utilize. I put my laptop there. I edit my videos. I watch, you know, any kind of TV that I want that I feel like, well, if Ryan Ryan's in here playing his games or watching his own TV. I can at least be in here. I could technically get like a little curtain and then you'd really be in a different room, but I don't find it to be necessary. And then up here we have my shelves and this little painting that I got from my bridal shower that I thought fit really well in the kitchen. We have all this stuff is from my bridal shower, except for these books that I got from Magnolia Table. I love kitchen books because it just adds kitchen art. And then this is my recipe book, which I put all of my favorite recipes. And then I have my little three-tiered stand there. Kind of becomes also a catch-all. It's not like super fancy looking or whatever. I know some people can make theirs look really nice, but this is what it looks like usually. And then I have these milk bottles that I kind of just fill up with different kinds of nuts and seeds and my oatmeal jar because I love my oats. And then underneath here is some more storage which I can get into in my other video. So over here we have the microwave because I feel like for the first year or two I didn't have one. And then I finally caved when Ryan moved in. He's like, we need a microwave, we're getting one. I always have a candle going. This is my sourdough starter, still not really rising. I'm figuring it out. But then we have the shelves right here which can store a good amount. I sink with some dishes still in it because 
you know. Then over here, I have my oven mitts that I like to hang. I love this oven mitt so much. Clearly, it's in good use and needs to be washed. And my little salt jar, my beloved KitchenAid mixer. I've been wanting Miss Pistache for quite some time now. Yes, I named her Miss Pistache because of her coloring, but I love this KitchenAid mixer. It has been a dream of mine since I was little. Then I have a little pizza peel in the back here just for some decor. And then this little holder to hold all my wooden utensils. This cabinet is where I have all of my spices, my matcha, I like everything kind of facing forward if it can be, my baking, and then some pans up there. And then over here is my little stove, which used to be a lot smaller, if you can imagine. I used to have half of this stove. They eventually upgraded me to this bigger one, and I put this little sign above that I got from World Market, and then I just hung this under Underneath. I want to display my wood rolling pin and he was like well I'll just put it underneath there and it kind of just came together I have this beautiful kettle that I got from my bridal shower as well as this nice pot and then over here is the refrigerator I cannot stand that I put stuff up there but I need the space so it's just a shelf for me which doesn't aesthetically please my eye but it is what it is I have my little friends photo that I am obsessed with because me and my friend Brandy were obsessed with friends in college and she came to visit and we went to the Warner Brothers set and took a photo so I have that in the middle of my refrigerator and then we have our theme night meals where you know the days are broken up into the themes and then we write down the dinners for the week if you haven't seen that video I have a whole video talking about family theme nights and meal planning and then why not take you into the fridge like they did in the MTV Caribs. Mark my words, one day I will have a refrigerator that opens up with two doors and a huge refrigerator at the bottom because we freeze a lot of stuff in this household and this freezer is just, it ain't it. I will have a really big freezer that I can store all of my food in and let me show you what's inside. So here it is, the inside of my refrigerator. Nothing too special. Ryan loves his spin drift. I have some little Hail Mary treats there. I like how aesthetic it looks with everything lined up that way and coordinated. That is very appealing to my eye. A lot of this is just like cheese, butter, nut butters, um, some chicken from Costco, more spin drift down here. Our favorite cookie dough, eat pastry cookie dough, is the bomb. It's vegan. It's so good cookie dough or to bake as cookies. Our Brita filter, which eventually my refrigerator will have the one you can just put the water bottle in and it'll come out, you know, that one. Yeah, one day. The drawers down here don't really have anything in it. They need to be cleaned. Ew. Um, um, need to do that this weekend and then on the side here we just have dressings and sauces butter mayonnaise extra marinades jellies oat milk almond milk and some maple syrup but yeah that is it for my refrigerator tour okay well that's it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed my studio apartment tour in los angeles i know that this is more spacious than some studio apartments i completely understand that but i'm so grateful that this place it has taught me so much, which is funny to say because it's just a space, but I feel like it's really taught me to organize and to prioritize and to realize that a space doesn't have to be big to make it feel nice and cozy and at home. And one, like your success isn't based on how big your home is. Yes, that's nice, but you can achieve that in a smaller space and create that same exact feeling a larger home would if you can't afford that um hopefully one day we will be able to have a larger space just because of the purposes of wanting to have a family one day so you kind of need a little bit more room to grow but i definitely feel like since i'm in the smaller space any upgrade from the place that we're in now i'm going to be, feel beyond blessed to have and i really am going to miss this place one day it just it has created so many wonderful memories and i'm so grateful that i found this place and i found it at such a transition in my life going from college to a completely different state across the country so I really love this place it has brought us nothing but happiness and I can't wait to see what next place I move in or what new things I decide to decorate in here so thank you so much for watching this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already I'm a lifestyle channel so I do a bunch of different stuff and I would love for you guys to join the community I will see you in my next video and I hope you have a great day bye Mwah. I hate when I do that Mwah.
Bye. <laughs>